I'm Andy Snope, and in my first video installment as your Twitter amateur critic, I will be exploring Mark Webb's highly anticipated sequel to 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 kicks off with the romance between Peter Parker, who is played by Andrew Garfield, and Gwen Stacy, who is played by the incredible Emma Stone. This picks right back up where it left off in The Amazing Spider-Man. Peter struggles with the internal conflict about the relationship because he made a promise to Gwen's father on his deathbed that he would leave Gwen. This made me question whether the film should be called The Amazing Spider-Man 2 or The Emotional Spider-Man 2. The ball starts rolling when Peter is flying through traffic during a robbery. He ends up saving an Oscorp employee who is an incredibly awkward and anti-social person played by the one and only Jamie Foxx. One day, Max's boss makes him check out an electrical wire issue. Max thinks that he fixes the problem when he is suddenly electrocuted and thrown into the tank of eels. This impulse turns him into a blue electric human. Just when we all want James Franco to come in and play Harry Osborn, we are thoroughly disappointed by Dane DeHaan, who as Harry has some of the worst hair of all time, making it impossible to ever see his entire face. Harry's father dies and Harry is dying from the same disease his father had and is convinced that the only way for him to be healed is with the blood of Spider-Man. Electro takes over all the power in the city as many subplots unfold and the movie begins to drag on more than ever expected, about 45 minutes longer than anyone expected. This movie has one of the most depressing endings to any film I've ever seen, making it hard to truly appreciate the great end that makes a fantastic setup for the third film. This is bigger than you, Peter. This film was short of amazing and did not live up to the expectations that it was given. With a great cast, good special effects, and a pretty good conflict, the webs just didn't stick. I give The Amazing Spider-Man 2 a 6.5 out of 10. Once again, I am Andy Snope, that is at A-N-D-Y-S-N-O-A-P on Twitter, and I am your self-declared, self-appointed amateur critic.